All right, so welcome to Algebra. Um, what you're going to find is we don't get to really start doing the Algebra stuff until Chapter 2, um, if I remember what we've got coming. So we're going to have some ideas first to get sure, make sure we have the basics down, make sure that we have the foundation we need to go roll into the Algebra. And um, most of this material in Chapter 1, probably all of it, you're pretty comfortable with, or you've at least seen before. Maybe you need a, a touch-up. So let's get let's to it. So just we, we're going to define our numbers as we go, and as we, you'd be surprised that as we get farther along in the college algebra, way beyond, even in the calculus, it's important to know what the types of numbers are. Um, and so if someone refers to the counting numbers, that's the stuff you've been doing on your fingers since you were in elementary school, which is starting at 1. If they call it the whole numbers, they just threw 0 on there. Okay, so counting numbers, starting at 1, whole numbers you threw 0. Now, just like we read from the left side to the right side, we go this way. Well, when we're thinking about the numbers, that's the same thing. The numbers ascend to the right. So we go from left to right. We read left to right. The numbers get bigger left to right. Again, you know that, but I'll just tell you anyway. Okay, so um, again, you've done this before, but this is our refresher to get going here. You have to know the places of all the digits. So, very foundational, we have to have this. So if I have the number 5278194, I'm just going to line those up with the names of all the places. So they're here, I won't read them all to you. But so when we match that up, we have 5,200,000, 7 in the 10,000s place, 8,000, right on down the line. So we want to put these digits, they're asking us, we're going to put this number into our little chart here. So I've got them all listed here where I've got them matching up and they're asking me what these different places are. Well, seven is in the thousands. Zero is in the ten thousands. One is in the tens place, so right on down. You can read that. So we're matching them up and just uh, catching on to our little patterns here. So it's always going one tens, hundreds and then thousands, tens, hundreds, millions, tens, hundreds. Okay, so I'm gonna, we, our chart is here, but I'm gonna do this without referring, like putting them all in there. We're looking at two. So this is in the third group, we're in the millions place. So this is the millions, this is the 10 millions, the next one over. Okay, so two is in the 10 millions, we're looking at the one, so it goes, it's the ones, tens place. So this is in 10 millions, this is in the tens place. How about the four? Well, we're in the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So four is in the hundred thousands place. Seven is in that third group, so that is in the millions. Five is in the ones. So if you wanted to, you could literally put it into this chart, the whole number, and you can just match them up. But just see this pattern, one tens, hundreds, thousands, tens, hundreds, millions, tens, hundreds, billions, tens, hundreds, etc. Okay, so I've got nine. I'm now in the, this is the thousands, millions, trillions. Or did I get to billions? I'm sorry. Thousands, millions, billions. We're in the billions group here. So I've got nine, and he's in the first place, so we would just call that the billions, nine billions. Four is in the second group in the thousands, so that's the ten thousands. So we go ones, tens for the two. Six is in the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands place. Seven is in the millions group, so he's millions, ten millions, hundred millions. <clears throat> all right, now we're going to put all of this into words. And the important thing in here is it's very common for people to say and, like uh, we throw on 700 and. So and is actually going to be the decimal place. If we get to that later, I don't know how much of this we'll, we're going to do here, but yeah, um, so we don't want to say and. That is a mathematical faux pas. So what we're going to do is just we're going to name out each of the places. So we've got eight in the trillions. 
I've got, so now we're going to just name this whole group just like you would as if 165 was the only thing in the world. So that would be 165. Well, now tell the larger group that it's a part of, billion. Now, 432. Now, its larger group that it's in is the million, so 432 million. So this would be 98. Well, it's in the thousands group, so it's 98,000. And we have 710. And I just said 10. 700 and I can't even prevent myself from doing 710. Okay. So we put all of that on a big string and we've got it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's see how far our groups go. We've got the thousands, millions, billions, trillions. So I've got nine. So just the number is nine. The group he's in is trillion. I've got 200, and 58, and the group that's in is the billions. I've got 137, just reading it just like a regular number, that's in the millions. I've got 904, that's in the thousands, and then I have 61. All right, so the way this always works is I'll recommend that you pause the video and do it yourself with either the notes or on your own notepad or whatever, and then I will pause the video, and I'll, or, or when you unpause the video, I will show you the answer. Um, if you don't always work them out, that's fine. It's up to you, whatever you think. But I'm going to go ahead and work it here. So I've got 17. Just taking that and turning it into a number. Now what group am I in? I'm in thousands, millions, billions. This was 17 trillion. Okay, the next one I've got 800. 64. Now it was in the billion group. Now I've got 325. It's in the million group. I've got 619 in the thousand group. And lastly, I just have four. So even though in language, I struggle not to say and. No and. No and. And means decimal. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got the number written out in words. We're just going to put that back into digits. So nine billion. So I'm nine. 246, okay. It's in the millions place. 73 is in the thousands place. 189 just in the regular old numbers place and we've put it all together and we've got it okay so I'm gonna go through here I've got two in the billions place <clears throat> 466 in the millions place 714 in the thousands and 51 be careful we got to put a zero if we ever skip over anything so I didn't have anything in the hundreds place. You got to have the zero there, and I got it. So I've got eleven billion nine hundred twenty-one in the millions place, eight hundred thirty thousand one hundred and I got six, I can't even stop from saying and myself one hundred six. So. Make sure you place any zeros that needed to be in there, and you got it. All right, now I think the rest of this first lesson just is a refresher on rounding, which again, you've been doing for a long, long time. But the important thing is that we know the different places. Let me see how they did it. Okay, uh, no, that's not right. They didn't say that right. Okay, so we're skipping that. So I want to round this to the nearest hundred. Okay, well, maybe they did. No, they didn't. So the hundred, so I'm going to bring this over here. What we're going to do is find the place that we're looking for. 
we want to look at the hundred place, hundreds place. Now let's look at the number that's directly behind it. Do you remember your rounding rules? So this is a five. So five or greater, you're going to round up. So this becomes 23,700. So hundreds, hundred place again. So there's the hundreds. Now we're going to look behind it. It's a five. So five or greater, you round up. I've got 17,900. Okay. Well, they keep to 100. Are we going to... Yeah, I wish they'd vary this up a little bit here, but... Okay, so there's the hundreds place. Behind it is a five. So we're going up to 800. And everything that follows becomes a zero. Okay, so more of the same here, but now they are going to vary up the place. So I'm going to the 100 place. I'm going to look behind it. It's a 7, so I'm going up. Everything else becomes a 0. Oh, okay, this has got a trick. So if I round that up and it was a 9, do you see what happens here is that if that has now made this a 10, you have to carry that over. Let me, oh, hold on. Oh, I want to do it without their stuff showing, but... So let me talk you through this. So I'm looking at the 100 place. Behind that is a 7. That means round up. Okay. Well, if I round up, this makes this one digit higher. Well, 9 would then make 10, which doesn't make sense for this place. The, the extra one is going to join these guys, and I'm going to make it 104,000. So once again, there's my 100's place. I look behind them. It says round up, but there's no place else to go. So I'll go up to the 0 but I've got to give the one and carry it over to the next higher place. Okay, they want us to round the thousands place, so we're going to look behind it. That's a nine, so that's going to round up. They want the ten thousands place, which is this guy. Look behind it, it's a three. So for the first time, that's not big enough. We only round up for five or higher, so we're not going to round up. We're just going to make it a hundred thousand. So let's do a few more of these. So we're looking at the hundred place. Behind us is an eight, so we're going up. But this is the problem we saw on the other one. There's no place to go. So if I make this ten, I've got to carry a digit over to there, and I get two o seven zero zero zero. Now if I go to the thousand place. I'm looking at the 6 and looking behind. Well, that's a 9. That's going to take me up, and once again, it's going to make it this. 10 thousandths place would be the 0. If I look behind the 0, I see a 6. Well, that's taking me up. So I'm going to go to the next highest 10 thousandths place. Everything else becomes a 0. <clears throat> okay, pause it if you want to try it. If this is easy for you, just watch me do it. So I'm going to look at the hundreds place. So, oh, I should have been careful. I'm looking at the hundred place. I go behind it. That's a five. It's taking me up. But I make that nine a ten. I got to carry over. Got to give that one up to the next group and make it 70, 785, 785,000. Oh, I'm too, I didn't do them all. Let's look at the thousands place right there. Looking behind it, I have a nine. That's big enough that I'm going to round up. So I'm going to make the 4 a 5. Everything else is a 0. The 10 thousandths place is this 8. Look behind him. He's a 4, so he's not big enough. I'm just going to drop everything down to zeros. Okay. Pretty simple. I think you probably feel pretty comfortable with that. I've done that many times before. But that's a nice way to get started get your feet wet.